your workshop. So in the last section, we learned about how to set up our API. Then we wrote a test API endpoint. But this video, really, we're going to be making you uh, not a great uh, registration system. So basically, we want our user to be able to register to our forum. So to get started, all you want to do is, uh, like remember I talked about migration. So we can go ahead to the database here, click on migration. And we're going to click on this quiz user. So basically, this is accepting a name, email, and a password. Then I also wanted it to accept another parameter, which is why I, I didn't run the migration. So we need to accept another parameter, which is going to be called username. And the username, of course, is going to be unique. We don't want them to share the same username. All right, so save this. And before I run migration, actually, we run migration, and this is going to break because we haven't set our database credentials. So what we have is database. We can go ahead and name our database. So I can call this form up. And your username, your database username, add it and the password. So my own is roots and the password is actually empty. So I also copy this and we have to go to over back. So my PHP my admin here, and I'm going to create a new database. Okay, so create a new database. Got from map, then it creates. Good. So once that is done already, we can go ahead and do PHP auto sign, migrate. As you can see, this has created the migrations for us. So if you click on structure again, baller. Now if you click on users, you'll notice now we have the username in, in it because basically if you run immigration without having the username, it's not going to include the username for us. So, and there's other things we need to set up, which is heading over to our HTTP, the models here, user. So basically this user is accepting username and user email and password. So we have to include our username inside of it. So we have to include username. All right, so we have to include username. So once that is done, what we want to do is go ahead and create our first controller. So the create a controller. So, so basically a controller is uh, like where we write most of our logic for us to work with. So I think that I can explain it for now. So the controller is like the brain of everything. So controllers allows us to connect with either our model or our view or and the route anything you want to do. So so we're going to do PHP artisan make controller. So what controller we create? So I'm going to create an auth, auth folder. So I'm going to call this authentication controller. All right, so this is going to create a new folder in our controller folder here, which is auth. Then inside of it, we have the authentication controller. Then once we go ahead and have a function, public function. So the function name is going to be called register. All right. So once register is there, we're going to delete this. Then uh we can just leave this in case you feel like so i'm going to head over to my routes and create a push request so a push request point to register we're going to specify the controller file so which is authentication authentication controller you are going to set a class so after setting a class we're going to select the on um, the function in which is register Okay, good. So once that is done already, we can basically copy this and let's just test it out. So right here we can return this. We can go to our API, which is register. So we should send a request. We have an area that says get method is not supported for this. So you remember with the push request we added. So let's go ahead and make a push request. Good. So we have API is working. Nice. So for this API, you want to go ahead and accept name, username, email, and password. So before that, we have to create a, a request. So let's go ahead and make a request. So basically, it's not, it's not necessary to create a request, but I just like uh, creating a request is going to make our code a little bit more readable to use. So we want to use reg register request. Inside the register request, first thing today is set this to true. Then what what are we accepting from our um like what data are they posting to our to our controller or our route or what um or our API? So we need a name. So for the name now we want to make sure it is required. And the minimum letter for the name is going to be three. The same to one for the username. We want the username to be required, and um, we want it to be unique. 
user so we are selecting, selecting unique in the users table then before that, i want to make sure it is a uh, is a string and also the minimum letter is let's just make it four okay so basically i can copy this one for the email okay and don't forget the comma right here so email is going to be unique and instead of string you're going to make this email so to tell us that okay what we need from you is an email not just any type of stuff then last we need is your password which is going to be required i just set the minimum to six all right good so basically our validation rules is here instead of us like copying everything and heading over here and doing request request like this then doing validated or uh, validate kind of stuff like this which is going to make our code a little bit uh, not it's not actually bad but i just prefer it this way to so make it very readable so what we're not doing now is in this place we have to call the register register request and you notice it has imported for us so once that has been called we have to create a variable for it so i'm going to call it um register i'm going to call it request actually so now we're just going to pass request then or validate validated i mean okay so we can save this and just test it out so let's head over back and let's click on send you see we have a field that says name is required and everything so we can go to this form data you can actually select whatever you either form you are in a country on form data or raw so i actually prefer using form data so let's go and set name let's just say precious then let's set username Oh, my username let's just say my username is always dev precious then email for this email yeah, we are going to be using a, a, a wrong email so let's use gmail.com then password i just got this one two three four five six oh still better i, I like calling it the password okay all right nice so let's go ahead and click on send you notice that email must be a valid email address so basically let me just complete this so seven at gmail.com then let's click on send you can see everything is working out basically we are not getting anything because we didn't actually write anything after so one that has been done already the simplest we can do is just let's add about say user um data so what's the user data? So the user data now is the name. So request from the request, you want to grab the name. So instead of viewing this, so you can also go ahead and do something like this. Uh, name, I think you pass an input here. So yeah, which is actually the same thing, but it's more preferable doing like this. Mostly everybody does like this. I'm just going to copy this a few times. Then I'm going to set this username. Then I'm going to make this email. Then the last minute is the password. The password is going to be different actually because because you have to make your password there. Then you have to do the same thing password there. Then uh, what I do, I can just cut this. Uh, let's go ahead and call Ash. So this Ash is going to import a facet for us. Okay. So once that is done, we can go ahead and do Ash. Then we can say make. So what I'm trying to make the password. So we are trying to like hash our password for so that it's like once if possible someone's hack into it or was able to get out of that so we'll not be able to like decode the user password. Good. So once that is done, we can go ahead and do um user equals to user. So once you click on user, this is going to import our user model for us. As you can see, we are going to say create. So basically, we are going to pass in the user data here. Alright, once well, that is done, also we can go and do user and say create token. So, we wanted to create a token for us. And what is the name of token? I'm going to call it forum app. I'm going to call it um, plain text token. Then before that, we're going to just pass in the variable to it, call it token because basically token is just the way we can authenticate ourselves using the API. So once that is done, we're going to do return. So we have to return what we have. Return response. 
they want to return the user then also let's return the token what am i spelling token okay then in the HTTP response, so we can make this two one because we created something, so we make it two one. Good. So we are done with the um user registration system. So let's go ahead and test it. Remember, we have all these values passed in already, so I can just go ahead and click send. And voila, you can see we've successfully registered our user with the token. As you can see. So how can we check it out? If I go back to our to our user state, we will check it. That you see we have um the user in this place so basically we've created a user registration system using our api so the next tutorial we're going to be looking at how to authenticate our user all right see you next time peace